I'm Julie Goodwin and I'm here in my kitchen at Julie's place but I'm cooking for my family right now and what I'm going to show you is one of the easiest, simplest, cheapest ways to feed your family. I call this a fridge shaker meal where you shake your fridge and whatever falls out you put it into this. So it's a simple frittata, frittata being a beautiful egg dish that just has all the yummy things inside of it. Okay, so really simple, really cheap. You serve this up with a bit of toast and maybe some salad or some greens or just on its own and you've got a lovely hearty meal. So what I'm gonna do is I have shaken my fridge. I found a capsicum, looks like it may be kind of on its way to heaven. So I'm just gonna take about a half of that fella and the rest I'll turn into something else. I just wanna dice him up while I've got the pan heating. And then an onion, if you've got a, a red onion or a brown onion. There's usually some of those floating around in the bottom of your cupboard. This one's huge, so I might just use half of this. And what I'm gonna do is saute those down in a pan with a bit of olive oil. Always use Australian olive oil when you can. It's the best. So I'm gonna saute that down till it's soft. And basically anything you wanna put into your frittata, uh, if it needs to be cooked first, saute it down. So things like capsicum and onion, even mushrooms, bacon, all that kind of stuff, you wanna give those a saute down first because they won't cook in the short amount of time that a frittata needs to cook. But if you've got stuff like little tomatoes, uh, spring onions, things like that, fresh herbs that don't need to be pre-cooked, you can just throw those in with the eggs. So while those are softening down, I'm just gonna whisk up the eggs, just a half a dozen eggs. I like to use large eggs, because I have large children. I laid large eggs myself. And then I'm gonna put in about a quarter of a cup of cream or you know, if you're doing omelettes or anything, I like to say sort of a blob of cream about the size of the yolk of your egg. So in that goes, give it a good whisk. And that's ready. Now you need to turn this pan down because you're going to start these eggs over a low heat. So turn it down. You want to pop in your other ingredients, so a few little halved tomatoes, maybe half a dozen of those. And whatever's in season, you know, if asparagus or baby spinach or something that shake out of your fridge or whatever's in season you can throw into this. It's honestly a very versatile, very forgiving, cheap and fast dish. Those go in, a bit of cheese, a good handful, half a cup or so and then in with your egg mixture. What you wanna do is stir that round and so everything's fairly evenly distributed amongst that pan there. Nice and evenly distributed. Put some pepper across it. Put some lovely salt across it. So we're gonna wait for that to set a little bit more and then we're gonna pop it under the grill and we're gonna put cheese all over the top so that that melts beautifully too. So you're looking for it to be fairly firm on the bottom at a low heat. If you do it over a high heat, the bottom will get kind of burnt before the middle gets firm. This smells so nice. When I lift it up at the sides, I can see that it's got a beautiful golden brown crust when I jiggle it, I can see that it's mostly set on top. So what I'm gonna do is pop it under the grill and let all that cheese become bubbling and golden. And I know that by then it'll be cooked through. So pull it out of the oven when it's golden and bubbly on top and you can serve it right now, piping hot. Well, this is one of those dishes that's also quite nice at room temperature.
Just because it's quick and inexpensive and easy doesn't mean it has to be ugly or not very nice to eat. This is a beautiful dinner. It's easy to make in the weeknight. I hope you enjoy.